Hey everybody, this is Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. And I thought that I would share with you what I'm going to be planting in my fall garden in the Phoenix area this 2015. So today, I got this in the mail. And whenever I get a package like this, I get all excited. Because this means my seeds that I've ordered from my favorite seed company online, the Baker Creek Seed Company at rareseeds.com has sent me an incredible package of seeds. So let's open it and see what's inside here. Ooh, it's like a piñata for gardening. If you guys don't know any of the seeds, plants, or varieties I'm gonna show you here, then just do a Google search on the name and you'll find out all the info you need. So first up is ground cherry. I'll be planting ground cherries because I've had lots of success with them in the past and they are so delicious and they're so fun to unwrap them from those little paper husks on there. I'm going to be planting artichokes, purple of Romagna. It's a new variety I haven't planted before. And so if you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel here, I'll update you as to the success and taste of this variety of artichoke. I'm going to be planting the glory of Ankhuzin cabbage. Next up, I'll be planting the cardoons. I've never even heard of a cardoon before this year, but I'm really excited for this one because it's supposed to have a really beautiful leaf with an edible stock. So I'll let you guys know how the cardoons work out. Next up here, I've got some of the golden crispy melons. And this one I didn't order. It was a free gift from the Baker Creek Seed Company. And they often will put free gifts in the package if you guys order seeds from them and they're just such a great company to order from. Next up here I've got the Green Globe Artichoke. Next this one is Panama Passion Fruit. I'm going to try this variety of passion fruit and see if I can uh, get it to fruit. I already have two passion fruit of the Passion Flora Edulis and they're delicious. I have the Calabrese Green Sprouting Broccoli. The Broccoli Waltham 29. This looked like a really cool variety. This is the Cosmic Purple Carrot I've planted the last couple of years. I think that this carrot is really incredible. And it really is fun to pick because the carrots really are brilliantly purple, just like that. Next I have another variety of Golden Berry, and this one is called a Naranjia. And this is supposed to have a sweet and sour taste and just looked really incredible. So I definitely want to see if I can get that to fruit. I have some Ice Queen lettuces that just look delicious. And I wanted to do some more of the Chinese style uh, lettuce wraps this year. So I got those for lettuce wraps. Next up here I've got the Violetta artichoke. Looked like it had a beautiful purple style of fruit. I've got some of the Kuroda or Kuroda long 8 inch carrots. And these ones are fantastic to plant because they just put off a very big, impressive, large carrot that's really fun to pull out of the earth. I've got a lot of these this year, the Romanesco Italia broccoli because it puts off a really cool, twisty, cone-shaped floret. And I'll be planting those in my garden. I've also got a form of broccoli called the Early Purple Sprouting Broccoli. I will also be planting the gooseberry, the giant cape gooseberry, which are one of my favorite foods on the planet. And that's it for this order from the Baker Creek Seed Company. But now I have seeds from past seasons that I've saved, purchased, and harvested myself. So let's see what we got here. First up, we also will be planting this Oregon Sugar Pod Pea. And we got these from a seed swap called the Great American Seed Up, hosted by Greg Peterson as well as uh, Bill and Bell. And you can go to growphoenix.com or seedsave.org to look at the seeds they have. In addition to that one, I also got the sugar and pea. I'm going to combine that with sugar snap peas that I've harvested from my own plants in the previous season. And these guys all need a trellis, so I'll be planting them in order to climb up a trellis. Next, I have one of my favorite cucumbers called the lemon cucumber. And these ones I just picked up from a nursery around town. I will also be planting cilantro that I have harvested from my own plants over the past few seasons. And once you harvest the cilantro, it's actually called coriander. But I have so much of this and I'm really looking forward to planting cilantro again because it's one of my favorite garden herbs. I'll be planting leeks because I've had success with leeks in the past. These are the, the burpless Japanese cucumbers. 
that looks so impressive and tastes very good. This is one of my favorite beans to plant. It's the green Chinese noodle, and it creates such a long, impressive green bean that is so fun to put in stir fries. I have the purple potted pole bean, a really great looking purple long bean that climbs a trellis. This is my second favorite bean to plant, and it's the yard long bean. This one puts off really impressive beans that literally do get close to being a yard long, and they're one of my favorites for putting in stir fries. Today is September 1st, and I'll be planting the sweet chocolate peppers, and they'll be going in immediately so that they have time to grow into full plants before the winter hits. This is a really cool variety of cucumber that I had success growing last year and I'll be growing it again this year called the Sikkim Cucumber and it really does look like a rusted egg and it tastes delicious. It had a sweet cucumber taste to it. I was really fond of this one last season. I'm going to also be branching out this year into a lot of Mexican and Sonoran Desert natives and this one's called the Mexican Hat. This one's called the Sacred Datura from the Native Seed Search Company. Arizona poppies, of course. The fire wheel. And the cool thing about these varieties from Native Seed Search is that they probably will grow without any additional water needed. I just will plant them and the monsoon rains of this season will water them and help them to grow. I have more of the garden berry Chinese lantern. The pineapple tomatillo, which is also the Cape gooseberry. I have the crystal apple cucumber. This looks kind of like a lemon cucumber, so I'm really excited to grow this one this season and see how it turns out. One of my favorite forms of tomato called the chocolate cherry tomato. I already planted these two days ago and they are delicious. They look dark and impressive and cherry tomato plants always grow so well. I'll be planting these peppers as well, the pepper Italian pepperoncini and the sweet pepper yellow stuffing and hopefully they'll get into big enough plants so that they can take the winter. I've harvested myself some of the pink chard from years past, and pink chard is one of my favorite leafy greens to grow in the garden because it grows into a very hardy and strong plant. It can take the cold as well as the heat. It's delicious, a little bit of a salty taste, great for smoothies and stir fries, and you can grow it as a perennial. It will actually stay alive for multiple years if you treat it right. And that's it, you guys. That is what I'll be planting this season. Thanks for watching this video. As always, we say here to be sustainable to the planet, go vegan, grow your food at home, and hopefully this gave you some ideas and inspiration for planting from seed and growing a garden that has an immense amount of biodiversity. The fall and winter garden in the Phoenix area is one of my favorite gardens to grow. And if you start now, you'll have a successful looking garden in a few months. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.